Dancers take over the halls of a chemotherapy unit as a violinist plays in the background. Meanwhile, in the intensive care unit at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital, Martha Vance comforts patients with her cello. It reduces anxiety and it can also decrease, help decrease the amount of medication that a patient needs. Across the country, music is increasingly becoming a part of patient care. If you feel better, you heal better. If we can study the arts in the same way that um, science studies medications and other therapeutics, I think we will be doing so much good for cura personalis or care of the whole person. But can music do more than lift the mood of the sick? The National Institutes of Health is bringing together musicians, music therapists, and neuroscientists for research. David Jangra says tapping into how the brain processes music can give the healthcare community insight on how to improve treatment in a range of ways. What neuroscience can do is help us understand which parts of the brain um, are active when we're making music. Um, and if we find out that that part of the brain is also affected by a disease or a disorder or an injury, now we know uh, that music can be a part of the solution. Heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. Jan Grodd teamed up with famed opera singer Renee Fleming on the Sound Health Initiative to see how music and the brain connect. While inside an MRI machine, Fleming was first asked to speak the lyrics to a familiar song. <laughs> Next, she was asked to sing the lyrics. The is wide. I cannot cross Finally, Fleming was asked to imagine singing the song. Researchers were surprised to find parts of Fleming's brain were more active when she imagined singing than when she actually sang. There's a strong emotional connection to the music, and I was able to really access that. Jangra says the results show processing music is one of the brain's most demanding tasks. If you really want to um, engage certain parts of the brain, you have to get the person to actually sing along or uh, play an instrument or become part of the music making process. From young kids in a music class to new NIH funded research exploring dance, researchers say more studies are needed to get a closer look at how music and the mind can work together in perfect harmony. Kathy Young, Associated Press.